Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. This morning turned out cold and windy and foggy, but I got out about 9.30 or so and I had to go to the post office and I had to go to Walmart, get some things done. Miss Key, be nice. Come on now, this is twice you've acted ugly today. I'm not gonna let you in my videos anymore if you're not gonna act nice. Because people are going to see it and they're going to think you're not a nice lady. Uh-huh. So anyway, this afternoon, it has turned off to be beautiful. Nice and warm and wonderful. So while I was at the post office, I got my mail. First, I got a sweet card from Miss Irene. Irene writes me... Uh, really sweet cards sometimes and uh, I'm always happy to hear from her. She always has such beautiful envelopes and cards with flowers and butterflies and things and she is just a joy in my life. She is a wonderful, wonderful lady. Miss Irene, very special lady. But I got some birthday cards, y'all. I got two birthday cards. Now, let me tell you, my birthday is in May. And I remember on a video one day, I was talking about I had a birthday coming up. I do. And uh, two of y'all sent me a birthday card. And I, you didn't know when it was. And I think that's wonderful that you went ahead and you sent me a card because you didn't want to miss it in case... I never mentioned it when it got here in May. So that's wonderful. I was pleasantly and happily surprised. And the first one's from Lana. Isn't that pretty vintage thing? She is just a wonderful, wonderful lady. A very kind, uh, gentle, very lovely lady. I wish to goodness I knew her in real life. I think that she and I would be friends. I absolutely love her, Lena. Thank you so much. The other one is from Sharon. It's a beautiful card. Today is more than just your birthday. It's a reminder of how much happiness, beauty, and love you bring into the lives of so many simply by being yourself. Happy birthday, Sharon. And that was so sweet. She also included a gift card. And she told me, please accept my birthday gift and treat yourself to some special things. I do believe I will, Sharon. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Y'all are so good to me. I don't know. I got the best viewers ever. I absolutely did. I'm so happy. So I went out to the post office because I had ordered a phone case for my new phone. And I found one on Amazon and it had, of course, it had roses on it. It's clear, uh, kind of a rubbery type stuff that I just slipped right over my phone. But it has beautiful roses on it. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because I'm using it right now. Anyway, it was $9.00 only nine dollars for this wonderful phone case that's clear like i said it slips right over my phone and the back of it has these wonderful embossed roses all over it and i have a black uh, phone anyway so it shows up beautifully on that nine bucks i mean gosh you can't find that anywhere so i was real happy to get that also i had to go to Walmart I was looking for mailers because I had bought the wrong size mailers to send out my my angel uh, paintings in I didn't account for the fact that it has that little half inch lip all the way around it which takes up some room in that mailer so I went I found those and I've got three of my um, Angels ready to be mailed. I've already got them addressed. All I have to do is take them to the post office. I still have two that I don't have dresses for yet, but I'll keep your name and, and I've got your paintings and I'll get them to you as soon as I hear from you. The rest of you, I hope to get it in the mail this week. I was out in the yard a little earlier trying to pick up some sticks 
but I couldn't do a whole lot. I had to stop. Friday, my son and I went to Quitman, and I worked out in the front yard, and I cut down a lot of these vines and so forth that were growing up the porch and growing through some shrubs that were out there. And it was the bending down and raising up and bending down and raising up and clipping these these uh, vines and pulling them out of there. And you know, I did a video one time and we we just don't know how much, how old we are because we're seeing the world through through younger eyes. And I told you, I, my my mind thinks I'm 30. Doesn't realize that I'm almost 73 years old. So I had worked for several hours out there doing that, and that night I was I was hurting pretty bad. But the next day, Saturday, all day long and all Saturday night, I'm telling you, I was miserable. I hurt so bad. Oh my goodness, I hurt. I just ached, and that's because I did too much, not realizing at all that I was doing too much. Because, boy, I used to could do a whole lot more than that. So I'm going to have to really take it easy this spring, when spring finally gets here, and I want to get outside and plant my shrubs, and especially on my fence, when I get my fence up. I still don't know when that's going to be, hopefully soon, because I'm excited. Maybe after this cold front comes and goes by, maybe we'll have an opportunity to start on the fence. I certainly hope so. I'm really looking forward to that. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. I hope everybody stays safe and warm. That cold front's coming in, and this weekend it's going to be bitterly cold here. And I know some of y'all in northern uh, countries uh, and states are having it a whole lot worse than we are, but we're just not used to it down here. We just don't have this this bitter, bitter cold for days on end like this. So it's 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 hard for us. It sure is. So I want y'all to all stay safe too. Everybody stay warm, stay safe. Wear your mask when you go out. I like to see you back on my channel commenting. Y'all have a great day. I hope God is good to you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.